Folks, Saturday night, welcome aboard. Murder Hobo Inc. is live with the one shot tonight. Three new hobos tonight. We'll see how they do. Uh, John returns for his third appearance, meaning he gets some swag. So kudos to you, John. You poor bastard for coming back. Uh, <laughs> follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D. Join our Discord if you want to buy cool crap like a duvet cover, a shower curtain, a phone case. Hit up our swag shop. Most importantly, if you want to be like these guys uh, and you want to play on a one shot or you want to be on the talk show on Tuesdays, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, or Gmail, hit us up like these guys did and we will get you on a show. Apologies to Jeff. I, I didn't have the space, uh, but Jeff is going to be numero uno next time. Uh, let's thank our sponsors. We'll start with Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, if you want some custom made dice like old Big Red here, the UPC killer. Hit them up at Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter. Uh, ask them uh, or tell them what you want. Let's see what they can do for you. And if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours is a classic gem. Uh, try some oddfishgames.com adventure sense because as long as it's not that putrid sewer, you can smell these all night long. Otherwise, you cough to death like Kyle did when he opened up his putrid sewers. They also make uh, the shine system. So if you want to write gooder than me, uh, check that out. It will help you understand the ins and outs of writing. Coming soon is their uh, Kickstarter on how to RPG with your cat. I myself have played it. It was fun. And uh, we will tell you when that Kickstarter goes live. Folks, this is the one-shot edition. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce you to the characters, and then we'll go ahead and give you the backdrop. We'll start with the veteran player. Uh, John, who are you, and who are you playing? Hey, uh, my name is John Bullen, and uh, I am a long-term D&D player from, like, back in the first edition days, and... Um, mostly IDM, but today I get to play. I'm playing No One You Know, who is a half elf ex spy. <clears throat> now he is a uh, a warlock. So I'm gonna kill him this time. I swear. <laughs> Probably. <to God. laughs> hey, I, uh, I I nearly died in the boat. Nearly is not good enough. It has to be all <laughs> or nothing. Uh, next up is Colleen, new player. Colleen, tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us about your character, please. Uh, I'm Colleen. Uh, tonight I am playing a uh, gnome named Naomi, a uh, rogue. Um, I also play on a podcast called Game Night Heroes. You can find us at Game Night Heroes at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And if you want to follow me, I'm at Colleen, at Colleen Gaming on Instagram. that it that's it no quirks about the uh, rogue player no nine fingers oh no, um uh, healthy i'm still deciding we'll figure oh. it out as we go uh that's that's what i like to hear next up is kevin kevin same questions different answers Hello, I'm Kevin. I am the host and the game master for the Game Night Heroes podcast. We play actual play of tabletop role-playing games, and it's a lot of fun. Right now we're playing in Freeport from Green Ronin Publishing, pirate stuff with Cthulhu undertones. Very fun. But uh, tonight I get to play instead of being the forever DM, which is awesome. I am playing Trevor Quincy, who is a former archaeologist who found a mysterious ruin that awoke him to some strange magics. And he is now giving himself over to Sune, the goddess of love and passion and beauty, which is very fitting for his statuesque form. <laughs> but I can be found at Kevran Games, and Game Night Heroes can be found, as Colleen said, at Game Night Heroes. So your character's rolled around in some weird mushrooms and is now a very happy person. Sure, yeah, we can put it that way. <laughs> yeah, we'll do, okay. Uh, you'll get the gist of that in a few minutes, maybe. Last but certainly not least, Autumn. Autumn, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your Hello, character. Hello, everyone. My name is Autumn Gaberski. I am a voice actor trying to make my way in this big old world. 
Um, but I am also a huge Dungeons and Dragons enthusiast. And today I will be playing Dalek Bramblebottom, uh, a gnome fighter who saved his teeny tiny town on the other side of the world from an absolute, you know, complete natural disaster and was considered a folk hero. And, you know, most gnomes don't leave, but he was like, I'm going out there in the big old world. Just like me, apparently, now that I say it out loud. Um, <laughs> So that's what I'll be doing tonight. Uh, I actually play a Dungeons and Dragons-esque uh, game that my friend made called Capes and Caverns. It's D&D, &D, but it's actually with superheroes. Um, and you can catch us on Twitch every Monday night at, uh, at Silver Bu underscore Bulette. Silver underscore Bulette. Um, and uh, yeah, if you are interested in Marvel or anything like that, we just go around being murder hobos, but with superpowers instead of magic. It's a lot of fun. Check us out. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, Colleen and Kevin, what time is your game on? We are a podcast, so it comes out on Tuesdays, new episodes, <clears throat> Tuesday mornings. And we have a 15 episodes out right now on uh, nine, nine different platforms. So Spotify, Anchor, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, all the fun stuff. You can find us. Very good. Autumn, uh, what time do you guys go on Mondays? Monday, we go 8.30 Pacific Standard Time, 8.30 to 10.30. It's a pretty short game, easy to easy to digest. We've got like a year worth of backlog on Twitch if you want to check us out. It's certainly an adventure. <laughs> John, what do you think? These guys stand a chance in Murder Hobo Land? <laughs> yeah, they, they have a chance. There's always a chance. Y'all are too soft. There's a chance. Uh, folks, uh, these three, uh, or I'm sorry, these four proud adventurers, max hit points, uh, boys and girls, uh, these four second level adventurers are headed to the city of Cathaway, hopefully to see some of that underground crab fighting contest we've all heard so much about. Uh, but getting from here to there is always a challenge. As they enter day three of their trials and tribulations, they come across the the hillside country as night begins to fall they need to make camp to further deepen their quagmire uh, it appears as though storm clouds are rolling in i will take perception checks by all four of you please let's start by rolling oh yeah all right quincy is coming in with a eight i came in with a fat 11 12. 12. 12 here. Two twelves. Wow. You guys are going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, Naomi and Noan uh, have noticed uh, not too far away, hidden among the uh, dark clouds of the hills, it appears to be a Mont and Bailey uh, fortification. Just about uh, three. Yeah, we'll call it 900 feet away, but covered in shadows. It appears as though there are several outbuildings on the lower section, so it is, in essence, a small community. You may be able to find shelter there, or perhaps they're all just evil and you should camp outside. Uh, there is a wooden palisade, as those two show you, and it's almost in a figure eight with the small tower being on the high rise of the hill at the back. What would you four like to do first? Please. Is there any lighting on this or is it all dark? It uh, The sun is setting, but because of the hills, uh, the shadows dance and play with your mind. You can all see small tendrils of smoke coming from the building. So it is, uh, shall we say, occupado. Uh, it is not a ghost town that you are okay. aware of. Well, certainly a night in a bed would be much better than a night on the road. I recommend we go in. I, I absolutely agree with you. My, oh, me aching bones. We must be getting our way on there. Oh, boy, go. you guys are so screwed. <laughs> I'm kidding. The good news <laughs> is a light patter of rain begins to strike on your shoulders, and the trail that you trudge is starting to get sodden with water. Uh, as you come closer to it, uh, you notice that there is no canopy over the gatehouse, such as it is. It is a wooden fortification, but you see two charming individuals leaning across their spears, talking to one another. As you approach, they notice you and beckon, yo, what do you want? 
park and well met. We are looking for a room to perhaps board in. These accompaniments out here are not very good for my complexion. Oh, you get, we don't have no inn, but you can find room in the barn if you want. Oh, in the bog, but we just spent so many days on a boat. <laughs> they look at each other and go, you're in the hills, lassie. Hi. <laughs> Maybe I read the backstory wrong. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it was a very special boat. Oh, very good. It was a land barge. That works. It was a land barge. Yeah, land uh, shark. Those land yeah. sharks will get you every time. That's true. Everybody roll another perception check for me, please. Ooh, that's a lot better. Ooh. 19. 30, 20. Ooh, 18. Nice. 18. All four of you notice that these two individuals are clad in dark blue tabards decorated with an H rising out of a hillside. Uh, it's an interesting sigil. It means nothing to any of you, but it's noteworthy enough. Uh, the two individuals look at each other. Yeah. You can come in. <laughs> uh, they shout down. Uh, you hear some scraping as if a log or timber is being moved from the gate. The gates swing open just a little bit, just enough to let you in. You see two additional individuals dressed in these similar tabards, H over the hillside. Uh, they say, you can, you can find, go check that way for lodging. They're very personable here at this uh, Malton Bailey keep. Uh, did anybody want to talk to these two clowns or follow a well-worn path through the crops? Say we head up. Yeah, let's just go on. Your charm is not wasted on these two idiots, so oh. you continue on. Uh, from your previously risen spot, you know that it is in a figure eight. This section is the lower section. Uh, you could tell that most of the structures were on the far side. There was a large structure kind of on this side, but further on, crops dot the landscape. Uh, because of the rain, the people have stopped. Uh, everybody roll a d12, please. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> How many minutes until we die? Yep. Ooh, Plenty of I don't time. know what a one means, but it can't be good. <laughs> Two minutes. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Quincy, as you lead your brave group of fellow adventurers, you can hear something ahead. It sounds like, um, well, it, it kind of sounds like a boisterous individual speaking to a crowd. As you guys weave your way in between the crops, all, the other three also notice this. You find that all of the people, civilians, citizens are gathered at a small crossroads. <clears throat> a, one man, very well dressed, uh, is atop a rock holding a large battle ax. And he is giving a soliloquy about uh, theft. Uh, Inside the fence, you discover rows of crops on either side of the path that cuts through the courtyard. At the first intersection, you find the large gathering. A large figure wearing a gray wolf cloak addresses uh, the uh, concerted crowd. As you approach, the man utters, and so, with regret, justice must be served in this matter. We will dispense it, and we will dispense it without crime. Uh, we will not have thievery in this community. We never have, and we never will. He nods to a trio of men similarly adorned in the gray cloaks, and they grab an individual from a crowd. Uh, the individual is maybe early 20s, male, uh, decent build, but they roughly drag him over to a tree stump. They force his hand down on this tree stump, and the, man, the large man in the gray cloak asks if he has any last words. The man utters, I did not steal it. You are harming an innocent man. All right, so Dalek is going to break through the crowd because he can't stand this kind of injustice. And he goes, justice, this can't be justice. Where's the... 
what's it called? What's that thing called? Where's the trial? Where's the trial? Come on, you can't kill an innocent man. And he's like, you know, three and a half feet tall, so. Quincy looks to Nawan and says, and here I thought you were going to have a quiet night. (laughs) Apparently not. Apparently not. The, the men in the gray cloaks look at each other, somewhat puzzled. The crowd, peasants essentially, kind of look at each other. Uh, and the man with the battle axe stops and he goes, uh, we've already had the trial uh, and nobody's dying. <laughs> oh, well, what are you doing to the poor lad? The same thing we handle all thieves with. He gets to lose a digit. And with that, the man goes, wham! <gasps> and cuts off the man's pinky. Uh, no! The three Gosh. men let go of him. He rolls around holding his bloody hand with uh, fluid spurting from it. Uh, oh. The man puts the haft of his weapon down. He goes, justice has been dispensed. Jumps off the log. Looks at all four of you and says, number one, looks at Naomi and goes, do you speak for this rabble? I don't know this rabble. No, rabble, you got it. Oh, (laughs) rabble? Nope, nope, I don't know any of them. I just happen to follow one at the same time. Quincy, do you speak for this rabble? Yeah, so I'd have to excuse my friend, and I give Dalek a little bit of a look. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> give me a little look. Yeah. I believe that my friend is merely worked up. We've had a long road here, and it has been rather tiresome. It was in the right place. You will understand that I myself am willing to... Take us beyond this. We are strangers here, so we do not have any means to further mess with your ways. Aye, Dalek speaks for himself, but I'll take the hospitality where I can get it. Uh, He looks at Dalek and goes, my friend, I'm not sure what justice is like in your land, uh, and I do not wish to speak over your head in the matter. Uh, but I like you. <laughs> I like you. I like all four of you. Uh, we like visitors. Uh, but please note that uh, there was no uh, there was no injustice done here. This man uh, has stolen uh, something from the tower. He had to be dealt. Now, I, 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 my apologies if you think we were going to kill this individual. That is not our way. Uh, that we no. That's not what we do. Uh, Excellent. You know what? I have something to do, but I I like you visitors and you guys need food. I would like for you to come to my tower later this evening. We may sup. And I am always looking for people who can man the walls with power and dignity and a fair sense of justice and points at day like, would you four consider being my guests? Nothing would please us greater. That's they, great. they do say the closest, the fastest way to a gnome's heart is through their stomach. I heard a different route one day, but I will tell you that one at dinner. He looks at no one. I, he says, I appreciate it if all four of you would come here. No one, just behind him, uh, you see somebody who looks like uh, the enforcer out of Breaking Bad, the bald guy. Uh, <laughs> and he's just kind of staring through you. There's no facial movement. It's just, he's just looking right through you. And you get a sense of not dread, but it's like, what's this guy's mm-hmm. problem? Uh, the, the man uh, turns around and he says, by the way, I am Sir Ashbury. Welcome to hate. Uh, I will be. The, I I live in the tower. Easy to find me. Uh, he's very charismatic, but he is. Everybody, give me an investigation check. 
<coughs> Quincy got a 17. I got a four. Woof. Eight. <laughs> Woof, yeah, I said the same thing. <laughs> Quincy, you've, uh, you notice some facial irregularities. Uh, uh, he, he's very charismatic. I mean, he's, he's not ugly, but you notice that he's not like the others. He has got a little bit of half pork blood in him. Hmm. So whether or not that plays into anything, maybe, maybe not. Sir Ashbury is welcoming you guys with open arms. Uh, one of the guards in the gray uh, wolf cloak comes up as he and Mr. Sullen, who doesn't like no one, and says, guess you can wander around. Uh, the barn's over there. That's where you'd be sleeping. Uh, don't steal. Because, and he holds up the pinky. He goes, we'll put the finger on you. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's not quite there. Uh, from this area, you can see a trail that goes through the crops over to a large barn. Uh, you can hear cows mooing. You can hear noises of some kind of animal inside the barn. Uh, across the way, you see a collection of seven buildings. All of them are wood. All of them are in uh, less than grand condition. The largest building has markings of a holy symbol on it, possibly a church. Uh, nothing here looks like an inn. Nothing here looks like a tavern, uh, including the barn and tower. There's nine structures, and that is it. The throng of citizens have already gone to their building, and the pitter-patter of uh, sprinkles is now turned into rain. It is soaking the path, turning it into mud, uh, and the only thing out and about right now are ducks uh, moving about to and fro. You have your choice. You have been invited to the tower later this evening. That is straight ahead. You can go look at your lodgings, the barn, uh, to your left, or you can go talk to the citizens. Is Sir Ashbury still there? Uh, no, Lord Ashbury or Sir Ashbury uh, and Mr. Sullivan have already left. They have headed towards the tower. Gotcha. Important empire business. Mm. Would I be able to, to discern what the holy symbol is that you mentioned? Uh, I'll take a religion check. It's uh, 16 plus uh, on my sheet, too. So 18. Sisters of Luna. They worship the moon. Oh. They worship what? The, the moon. moon. Oh, the moon. That makes sense. Uh, nice. Do we know anything about hate? The town is that the name of this place? It is. Uh, you do not know anything, it's any. not on any map, it's just a pimple on a butt somewhere. There's mm. just, I mean, it's just some collective town of hate, definitely has no underlying issues. <laughs> oh, right. All right, me friends. Well, I say we um we fraternize with some of these uh citizens around here, maybe we can find out some information about what happened to that. Poor lad. Indeed. I wonder if perhaps they have a house of ill repute that I might be able to visit. Yeah, no tavern or inn, but I'm sure they have a brothel. <laughs> <laughs> Check out Sisters of Luna. Uh, strangely enough, uh, again, the aforementioned figure eight, it's almost like a half moon design. Uh, building two all the way through eight. Number seven is the chapel. It's the only thing with a kind of small towery thing uh and just so we're clear you're pretty sure it's the sisters of luna because you rolled fairly high or it could be a really classy outhouse because it's got that half moon <laughs> on it so hard to say uh you aren't quite in louisiana so you can assume it's sisters of luna so uh you, you wish to fraternize uh a, a quick look around as the uh rain really starts to pick up. Uh, fortunately, no lightning. Anybody in metal armor, by the way? I Quincy is wearing scale mail. Yep. Awesome. Wearing chain mail. Uh, there is an anvil outside the first building. Uh, a stench coming from the second building. 
Uh, the other buildings uh, all pretty much look the same except for the church. So I, I, you can select any building that you want and go fraternize with the civilian population. Let's talk to the Lunas because <clears throat> if you know maybe what they worship, we'll maybe understand more about what this town's all about. Indubitably. I like it. Let's do it. As you yes. head over to the church uh, again, not exactly uh, stone masons. This is all wood, uh, a little on the flimsy side, uh, but fits the bill. It's larger, it's elongated, uh, and the door is fortunately unlocked. As you enter, who wants to go in first? As an ambassador to the goddess Sune, I must make it my personal duty to enter first. And the guy looking for the bordello. Uh, as you that enter as well. in, you notice the strange scent of religious uh, pleasantries, for lack of a better term. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sure that Adventure Sense has something that'll fit that bill. Uh, but, you know, it, you can almost smell the Catholic mace about getting ready mm. to hit you. Uh, you hear a lady's voice near the back and says, Welcome, my child. Who are you? Well met. I am Trevor Quincy, priest of the Order of Sune. Allow my companions to perhaps introduce themselves. D12 against me there, foreign religious leader. Oh boy. <laughs> Five. Four. Ah, I've heard. Uh, who are your companions? I'm no one else. you know. No one you know. <laughs> that is an interesting Ever. name. Uh, do you worship uh, Luna? Uh, no. Um, just thought it'd be interesting to learn about, you know, your culture here since we're visiting. And you too? Oh, my name be Dalek Bramblebottom. Pleasure to meet you. I'm still in the market for a deity. You should consider Luna. And for her me. rays protect us all. And last but not least, you. I'm Naomi. I don't have a religion. Maybe I'll take yours. <laughs> I, I like you already. I nice am feeling. Sister Clarice, uh, Reverend Sister Clarice. This is my flock. Welcome. Do you need a place to stay for the night? I we are in need respite. We don't have much here, but we do have a sturdy floor and a less than leaky roof. So by all means. If you'd like to stay here, uh, we smell slightly better than the barn. Well, and then Indeed. we are. I smell the barn. <laughs> I only ask that you participate in evening vespers with me. <laughs> evening what? Vespers, prayers. Ah, uh, oh, I uh, do <laughs> dinner plans during prayer time. Prayer time is now. Dinner time is not for an hour. <laughs> sure, let's let's pray. What are you? Let's, what are we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pray, uh, pray tell. What will be uh, the, uh, the, the the doing? barn is always available if you guys want to ditch Sister Clarice. <laughs> I would be pleased to join you on your evening vespers. Perhaps Lady Fairhair can illumine you as well. So I got one taker. Oi, you know, I'm in the market. I'll, I'll, I'll learn a little bit, huh? Let's come, let's try it. What do Nailed I do it? with my hands? <laughs> 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 now, that's what Quincy is searching for. Uh, <laughs> Naomi, are you also in? I'm in. I want to learn. I'm going to take up this religion. <laughs> uh, she, she extends her hands out and asks that you all form the holy circle of Luna. All right. Is it a circle? Put my it, hands yeah, out. Yeah, she, she wants you to be in a circle because, you know, it's a moon religion. Uh, she then goes into a rather lengthy diatribe. Everybody give me a constitution check. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Gosh, I am rolling real bad. I rolled a three plus. Uh, seven for Quincy. Four, seven. Sixteen. Uh, good news, Naomi and no one. Uh, okay, I, you're digging this. The religion's making a lot of sense. Uh, you know, 
Quincy, eh, there's a few tenants there that uh, <laughs> kind of abrasive to your own religion. Uh, Dalek, if you don't stop fidgeting, she's going to smack you because every once in a while she gives your hand a jerk because you're just ah, bored out of your mind. No, oh, you uh, know, I went to Catholic school my whole life. I thought we were supposed to be role playing. <laughs> Uh, she doesn't have a ruler and you don't have gum on your nose, so you're <laughs> safe for now. Uh, had I known that, well, then that would have been entirely different. Uh, while it seems as though Vespers go on for at least an hour and a half, uh, after 15 minutes, uh, Vespers have ended uh, and she gives you each a, a little shot glass of holy wine. All right. I down it. Yes. There you go. Tastes, yeah, I, we'll vibe as well. I finally, this is what prayer <laughs> is all about. I pick it up and I throw it back. Everybody roll a con check. If it's high, you like it. If it's low, you don't. 18. That was constitution? Yep. You said? <laughs> How badly? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I got a three plus three, so six. So only no one seemed to enjoy it. Obviously, a man of a discerning. No one enjoyed one. it. <laughs> <laughs> you feel the power, my friend. <laughs> uh, she, little arc of bolts of eldritch energy goes between his fingers. Yeah. Uh, she asks you what your plans are for the rest of the night. I know that you mentioned you had dinner plans already. Yeah, the old fuddy duddy at the big building up asked us to go up there. Sir Ashbury. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Ah, uh, yes. Very good. Uh, a valiant leader. Oh, Why okay. should we be wary of him? I don't see any reason to be wary of him at all. He clearly likes you if he's invited you to dinner. So that is a feather in your cap. Kudos. Ooh. Well, his, uh, his guy like? didn't like me, though. I'm sorry? His guard guy didn't like me. Oh, uh, that would be uh, Sergeant Gunny, bald man, piercing eyes. He doesn't mm. like anybody. Okay. I, 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 That's I, good I, to know. Yeah, I, I wouldn't turn your back on him, though. I'm going to turn my back around anyone around here. This is yes, I know. You don't sit still for anything. <laughs> Right, I'm like already on the other side of the of the, the, the church, like you know, like Moving trying around. to like let candles like blow candles out, but not completely. Yeah, fidgeting. Nice. Uh, as you guys uh, finish up your talk, she points out that uh, she must uh, bathe in the holiness. So if you could uh, leave while I tend to my personal hygiene, uh, that would be much appreciated. I will put out some blankets and some uh, straw for you uh, to spend the night. Thank you. Hey, thank you. So your hospitality. Take your ass out. <laughs> uh, you have to go she, home, but you can't stay here. She reaches out and clasps each of your hand. May Luna go with you. May Luna go with you. No one. No me. Uh, there's a packet that she slips to you. Okay. Uh, you can examine it. It's just a small packet wrapped in white linen. The smell is a little bit tart, we'll say. Uh, not exactly lilacs, but it's, uh, it's not pig shit either. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a, it's a different blend. Might be a tea bag. You aren't really sure. Uh, but she does, she does not speak of it. Uh, she shook your hand just as she shook Quincy's and Delix. So that's it. Do with that information what you want. As you exit the building, you notice that, oh, uh, yeah, this is a rainstorm. <laughs> and lightning uh, is off in the distance. The thunder is rolling in. Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be a whole lot better than the barn. Uh, but you still have some time to kill. Uh, who would you like to talk to next? Hmm. You said there was an anvil, like a. There is an anvil uh, denoting a blacksmith. 
You want to check him out? And we can. Do y'all want to do that? Sure. Yeah, we can go there. Why not? That sounds sure. fine. Uh, it, the anvil itself is outside. It, there is a structure uh, next to it. Uh, clearly, in this weather, uh, the forge is not going to light. So it's going to be a little bit damp for right now. Most everybody, except for the guards, uh, who are doing their best to stay out of the rain, everybody else is inside. As you head down uh, the way, uh, you notice that two guards dressed in gray wolf cloaks step out in front of you and say, Hello there, who goes there? We are but strangers at this town coming to visit. Strangers? Well, welcome, welcome. We are glad to have you. Uh, A, you don't recognize these guys from the guards on the tower. B, you don't recognize these guys from the grouping where Mr. Pinky uh, had his misfortune. So these guys don't know you. Everybody perception check. <clears throat> 17. 15. Him. 15. Uh, Quincy and no one. Uh, you do this. <laughs> There are two other individuals who have sealed you in between these buildings. There are four individuals. While the two in front of you wear gray wolf cloaks, the two behind you wear the H cloaks. Uh, so it's two and two. Uh, the two in the wolf's cloaks look at uh, Dalek and say, uh, why you got weapons in here, friend? Well, right, we be traveling along. You can't be traveling along without protection. Look at you. You're covered in armor and cloaks. Yeah, but there's no weapons allowed in here. Uh, I'm afraid we're going to have to take your weapons, please. What was that guy's name again? Lord uh, uh, Ash Ashbury? Ashbury? I'd say, no, no. Lord Ashbury said that we are fine and, and we could do whatever we want. In fact, we're supposed to go meet with him at dinner in a few minutes. Oh, Lord Ashbury knows them like their personal relative friends. No, my friends, certainly you are not going to carry those weapons in. You're going to have to give them to us or we're going to have to take them. Oh, you you're just telling us happen. now after we've been here for over an hour doing prayer. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any weapons. This is just a really, really big toothpick. <laughs> Persuade me that it's a toothpick. Oh, boy. <laughs> that would be a seven. Aha! Uh -huh. I've been whacked on the head by a toothpick such as that from my brother, my dear. I don't think so. Last chance. Everybody give us your weapons or we're going to take them. Well, we don't have any sort of means to try to convince you otherwise, but what my friend speaks is true. We have been invited. We are honored guests this evening. Perhaps that should be enough. Aye. It should be. But it ain't. And they all draw. Everybody roll initiative. Come on, Ugh. time to murder. I got a net 20. Finally got something good. <laughs> I started out awesome with a net one. <laughs> hey. 17. 16. Uh, better to get that one in initiative rather than combat. <laughs> uh, net 20, you and Naomi uh, only notice the guards in front. No one and Quincy know that there are two more behind. Indeed. In front, gray cloaks. In back, H. Uh, so, nap 20, Dalek, you're first. What would you like to do? Hey, your microphone's on. Oh, righty. Hi, what will Dalek do? So, uh, let's try to do this without a little bit of bloodshed first, but we'll get to it the second round. Uh, <laughs> the first thing that uh, Dalek's going to do is... How, how close? They're like within five feet of us, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll step forward and um, I'm going to try to disarm the one who was talking and uh, 
you know, with uh, pull out my battle axe and try to disarm him that way. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, the rain is starting to get intense, but go ahead. <laughs> Ooh, uh, am I adding anything? Uh, I'll, I'll give you dexterity. Since dexterity? All right, I'll take it. I rolled a 10. Plus 2, 12. Uh, very good. And as you swing the uh, section of your battle axe at him, he goes ka-ching with his shield. <gasps> uh, 17 is up next. No one. Two in front, two behind. And um, Dalix just used her or his wild charm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think uh, what no one wants to do is try to just kind of do a full defensive action and block anything that maybe tries to strike him. Sure. I will attack you at disadvantage. That's fair. Uh, seven. Uh, let's see. Uh, first off, I know I'm going to go after Dalek. <laughs> hey, what did I ever do to you? Huh? Uh, you tried to knock my sword out. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do anything with the 12. No, I have an uh, AC of 18. Uh, his sword strike rings off your mail. Uh, good news. Naomi, uh, yours is going to... Since you haven't done anything... Uh, he draws back and he's going to throw a haymaker. Ooh, five. He's going to miss wildly. Apparently, <laughs> their feet are sli slipping around in this mud. Uh, no on yours. Uh, no, yours is going to go after you. He kind of is an ass. He will go at disadvantage, which is good for you because one of them was an 18. The other one is... 10, I'm assuming, misses. Oh, miss. He also slips a little bit in the mud. Last but not least, Quincy, uh, one of the H's behind you. Uh, what's he doing? Haymaker as well. Four plus four, eight. Uh, these guys aren't very talented. Uh, however, Naomi, they did try to punch you. Uh, without hesitation, I'm going to whip out that rapier and try and stab him. That's right. Kill. I'm going to stab him. When in doubt, kill. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, it is. is I mean, it's all Dalek's fault. So, <laughs> ten, 10 you say? Hey, they drew first. Dalek <laughs> never draws first, but he always stays up last. You said 10, Naomi? Okay. There's something to that. Uh, they also use their shield to block you. Quincy, with that marvelous roll of a one, you are up next. <laughs> Well, I'm going to gesture and I pull out a small silvered mirror off of my side and I look at it for a moment to print myself in the pouring rain. And then I will say that I wish for Lady Firehair's beauty to guide my companions this night. And I'm going to reach forward. I'm going to touch. Which one of my companions is the closest to me? Uh, odd. No one even. Or you know what? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One. Naomi is closest to you. And I will take my hand and I touch Naomi on the shoulder and she will have guidance cast upon her nice. so she can sometime within now or in the next minute she can add a d4 to a number that she rolls excellent top of the order Dalek top of the day to you you're up Ooh, top of the order to you um and so all right so he uh he just got you know that block on me but then completely missed his other thing and I look at him and I go I wag my finger at him uh, and I uh, pull out my two hand axes. Oh, and, nice. Going to town on him. Yeah. Hey, listen, I'm here to win, you know? Because uh, <laughs> you can win D&D. &D. Yes, exactly. That's exactly if what you're I know the second I said it, it, I was like, oh, no. Well, if you're having fun, you're winning D&D. &D. Go ahead. <laughs> gonna... Slice and dice me. Hey. All right, cool. So I've got two weapon fighting, so I can use a bonus action to swipe sure. you with two of them. So let's see what goes on. All right, so I got a nat one on one of them. Oh. <laughs> I got an 18 on the other, plus three. You will connect on your second one, but give me a D4, Naomi is one. <laughs> no one is two, Quincy is three, and you're going to stab your foot, number four. <laughs> I got a one. 
Congratulations, you've hit your associate. Give me damage, then cut it in half, round down, if it's all up. right. Naomi, now you have two assailants you have to worry about. One is part of your party. Three hit points of damage to you, Naomi. How much damage did you do to the guard? Let's see then. Uh, I did five to the guard. He's hurting because you guys are low level. Uh, I look at him and I say, oh, you want to take it from us now, huh? <laughs> yeah, Lassie, you're hitting everybody. I don't think you tried to hit me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> next up is the 17. No one. Uh, you hear Naomi. <laughs> So, you know, she's been hit. <laughs> the one that... Uh, Jesus Christ! Just... <laughs> oh, sorry about that, Naomi. <laughs> Slippery out here. <laughs> the one that just got hit, uh, uh -huh. the guard, uh, I want to use uh, Eldritch Blast and like, and go, quit messing around. And then <laughs> blast. <laughs> uh, uh oh <laughs> Unfortunately, that is a nat one. Oh, the party's no. TPK and baby uh, D four. <laughs> please be a one. Please Horrible. be a one. <laughs> uh, which which? Uh, what is the one again? Naomi. Naomi. <laughs> oh. It's three. That so oh, uh, that's Quincy. Quincy. Sorry, Quincy. <laughs> I'm like I'm about to blast, and Quincy moves out of the way. Like I'm gonna, and then psh, I accidentally zap him. Your cool cleric move puts you right in line with the Eldritch Blast. Watch out! <laughs> uh, damage halved, round down. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a lot, too. I told these guys in green room uh, the likelihood of them killing each other was higher than me doing it. <laughs> it's it's a D10 force, but I also get to add my, my charisma bonus. So it was 10, so half of that's 5. <laughs> Ah, uh, Quincy, you get pushed forward a little bit as uh, holy energy goes to town. Uh, <laughs> the guards are a little bit mystified here on why you guys are fighting and aren't quite sure if they're dealing with the Three Stooges or something a little bit worse. Uh, Dalek, uh, your guy certainly did not appreciate you hitting him nor giving Naomi a really bad haircut with the chop move. Uh, so he's going to try and hit you with a 15 this time. No, duh, no dice. Uh, uh, we will start at the top. Naomi. Too short. You missed right. Uh, you swung Naomi. right above me. I rolled a two. So you are safe this round from me. We, we don't. We don't have anything. Not you I have to worry about. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> no one. Uh, 16, 16. Okay. Uh, the scimitar strikes two Ugh. for a lousy three hit points. And finally, Quincy, uh, over them laughing, he rolls a 12. Does that hit me? Uh, ricochets off your armor. Uh, Naomi, uh, first, if you're going to attack, you're going to have to tell me if you're going after a guard or daily. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stab again at that same guard. Just keep sure. my eyes focused ahead. <laughs> As you don't notice Deal that your Dalek bangs later. have been sliced right. through by the hand axe. That is a 17 to hit. Easily. That is nine points of damage. You strike true with your rapier right through the individual's heart. First murder of the night has been Ooh. completed on a guard, courtesy of Naomi. Uh, Quincy, uh, you rolled the one. You get to go. Uh, please tell me, guard or no one. <laughs> <laughs> I shoot no one to look and I go, really? Again? And then I'm going to draw my mace and swing it at the guard. Uh, that's a 16 to hit. Easily. All right. 1d6 plus 1 with 5 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, yeah. He's going to feel that in the morning if he survives. <laughs> uh, Dalek, your turn to create mayhem and chaos again. Uh, uh. You notice that in spite of your best efforts to hamper Naomi, 
She has finished off her guard. Well, I better this is better make it on <laughs> mine. <then. laughs> I look over at Naomi and I make a mental note. Not her, not her, not her. <laughs> and then I uh, <laughs> swing my uh, <laughs> my hand axe at the, the guard right in front of me. And let's see what happens. All right. I got a five plus three. Eight. The good news is you don't hit Naomi this time. <laughs> Did you want to so use the focus bonus on that hitting her and hit anybody? <laughs> I hit no one. Oh, oh, no, oh, oh well played. Uh, speaking uh, of, no one, you're up. All right, uh, no one will recharge. Shoots blasts, uh, Eldritch blast again. This time, let's hope he hits a guard. Are you going for your guard or someone else's? The one that keeps trying to hit him. Okay. Uh, I have um, 15. Yep, that gets them. All right. D10 damage. That is a 10 plus 3, so 13 damage. The arcane power that you wield has struck true, and it has resulted in a smoldering hole in the individual's chest as he falls (laughs) backwards, covered in mud and water, a look of horror upon his face. The other two guards are quite concerned at this point in time, noting that uh, Naomi, victim one, and Noan, perpetrator two, uh, have dealt with their associates so well. So I'm going to check morale from the old days. Looks like we continue to fight, boys and girls. Uh, Dalek, your newfound friend is really aggravated now halfs his sword over his head and tries to give you the Hassan chop with a 16 plus four dirty 20. Ooh, yeah, that just barely nicks me. He rings your bell. And that is a four plus two for six hit points of damage as his blade comes crashing down upon your cranium. (sighs) Quincy. Uh, that is an 18 plus 4, 22. Uh, he does not want to get hit by your little religious uh, mace, uh, but he only gets two for a total of four hit points of damage as he slices into your arm. Naomi, uh, up to you. You are currently unencumbered with uh, opponents. You may look around, survey the area, or dig in and help out Quincy and Dalek, who actually started this mess. <laughs> uh, I'm going to glance around. Wade. <laughs> okay. Let's see who's fighting Quincy and attack that one. Okay. Quincy has an H on him. <clears throat> uh, that would be a... Guidance, too. I do. I don't think I need it for this one. Fair. It's a 21 to hit. That Ooh. hits. Oh, I'm going to add that. Can I add that plus four to attack damage? <laughs> I, I don't think so, but you okay. know what? I'll um, let you. We're just four points of damage. Did you want to add the D4? Get him. What was that? I'll let you add the D4 if you want. Uh, yes, okay. We're going to add that five. too. <clears throat> okay, all four. I got a four with that. So I got a one, a four, plus three. So I got eight Uh, points of damage. Murders one and three are by the gnome rogue as he falls uh, because you caught him from the side. Quincy, just as you are about ready to pummel this rascal, you notice your friend (laughs) uh, and takes care of it. Perforates him. A quick look over to the side. Dalek seems to be having, you're a male character, right? Dalek Dalek is male, yes. Uh, Dalek, Dalek seems to be having a problem. (laughs) <laughs> and needs assistance. That is the only guard left. All right, I will move over to assist then. I will move over and attack that guard with the mace. Hey, don't hit him too hard. We need somebody to question. There we go. <laughs> 15 to hit. That's that what is. I always tell my characters. <clears throat> Ooh, that's going to be maximum damage of seven from me. Ooh. He's unconscious. <laughs> All right. Down he goes. Goose egg starting to develop. <laughs> Dalek looks up like, and he goes, I, I had it. 
what you have three dead ones bigger than one uh no ones is still steaming uh from the hole in his chest uh naomi's is both of the hers are bleeding out this guy's unconscious what would you four like to do as the rain really picks up and it's just torrents at this point maybe we should take these dinner? guys to the barn that's what i was thinking <laughs> so you're gonna drag them all the way across the center <laughs> to, to the barn you want to drag them? To the, we we could just drag them into the alleyway or right behind between the two buildings. You can do that. E- either way, I, there is nobody out. Actually, everybody needs to make a perception check because there is somebody out. Oh, it's going to be that guy that hates me. Eighteen. Twenty-two. Just a ten from over here. Naomi. Fifteen. Uh, Naomi, Noan, and Dalek, uh, you notice what appears to be an adolescent boy, maybe 12, 13, standing just under the corner of one of the buildings as the rain pours out and just just keeps dripping on his head. It's like he's picked the worst spot in the world to stand, (laughs) and he's just kind of watching you. I kind of go over to him and kind of say, and that's why you don't want to be a guard. <laughs> My brother's a guard. Well, he, he should probably <laughs> consider. Your brother was a guard. Other... <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, a big child. He's not one of these, is he? <laughs> no. My brother's in there. Oh. Oh. Right, well, then I, place I for him to be. Then. My brother's missing a finger now. Hey, your brother's the one who uh, stole. What did he steal? Everybody go ahead and give me an insight check. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. 12. Uh, 16. 18. Everybody but Dalek picks up on the fact that there's something wrong with this kid. Uh, even though all four of you saw him just standing, getting poured on by water for some reason. But there's just something a little bit off. It's not negative. It's just different. Uh, you, Quincy, you had asked him what his brother stole? Uh, Dalek did. Dalek? Uh, my brother didn't steal anything. I knew it. Was he falsely accused? Uh Nope. If he was not falsely accused and he did not steal anything, then what precisely is happening here then? What's precisely? (laughs) (laughs) It means what's going on? What's What's your brother do to lose a finger, huh? Right. He tips his head back and starts drinking the rainwater off Oy. the thatched roof. He Your brother's is... half as weird as you are. He might have deserved it. <laughs> Every, everybody give me a perception check at disadvantage. Mm. 11. Four. Eight. Eight as well. Who got the 11? No one? No one. You notice a slight deformity in his hairline. Like he's wearing some fake hair? Not quite. Like he's got a scar or damage to his skull. And this is actually based on somebody I've met before. (laughs) So somebody operated on his skull? No, he's he's not from Planet of the Apes. He got kicked in the head by a horse. Oh. So... He says to Quincy and Dalek, he wasn't falsely accused. He didn't do it. Do you want to beat him? Sure. Hello. Let's meet him. Are we going to be late for dinner? Who cares? Well, you, you still got plenty of time after you killed four guards. I'm sorry. <laughs> right. After Naomi killed two guards. <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah. What are you going to do with the unconscious one? I'll fussily pick my nails and say, well, you killed them. <laughs> you kill them, you bury them. <laughs> right. <laughs> and the only reason he's still alive. <laughs> he, he is still alive. Let's just bind him up. Uh, I have, I think, some rope. Hey, kid. 
We're playing a game. Nobody's dead. They're just pretending to sleep. Okay. That guy has a hole in his chest. (laughs) Yeah, it's part of the game. Doesn't it look real? The kid starts to wander over. (laughs) Kids, go play. Go play in the rain. (laughs) Go play in the hole. (laughs) He starts to reach over towards the body. You want to stop him? All right, listen, kid. I don't want to have to kill you, too. (laughs) He looks over. Let us make haste to your brother. (laughs) Oh, he's inside. Hey, what you want to play a really fun game where you dig three holes? <laughs> really big holes. Wow, child labor law is all over this problem. Uh, oh, yeah, that's my favorite game. Gosh, I wish I could play. <laughs> like Unfortunately, we have to go to dinner. Uh, <laughs> he is over in uh, one of the buildings that appears to be a carpenter shack. There's rough wood hewn planks outside. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to go in there, do you want him to try and play in the mud is what I'm hearing? Cause he'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's drinking rainwater after standing under it. I mean, come with like- us, come with us child. It's better indoors where it's a little more dry. Yeah. Yes, Just because he's about to touch the smoking hole from no on. He's like, okay. Uh, he wanders over. Throws open the door carelessly, illuminating uh, the building is illuminated by a large fire in the center, a nice chimney. Uh, there you see Mr. Pinkyless. Uh, he's he's not doing so well. His eyes are kind of hollowed out, and he's he's in a lot of pain. Uh, another individual is looking over him and is binding the wounds better with uh, some cheesecloth that. I'm sure that's not going to promote any kind of disease. Uh, mm-hmm. the, the individual missing the pinky looks and says, Nebels, what are you doing? Nebels. So apparently the child's name is Nebels. Uh, he says, we're playing hide and seek outside and I need to go dig a hole. Uh, whose idea was that, Dalix? <laughs> Go ahead and roll persuasion to see. Or was it Quincy's? I'm pretty sure that was Naomi. Naomi did uh, Naomi? <laughs> Na- Naomi, roll persuasion. They can't all be my bad ideas. Oh, trust me, they can. <laughs> that would be an eight. Yeah. Uh, my brother's not digging any holes for you guys. What did you do? Uh, he just was having fun. I was like, go oh, dig in the mud. It looks like you're enjoying this rain. There's, 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 four, there's four people knees. sleeping outside. Yeah, Nebels, they're sleeping. Nebels throws you under the bus. Uh, the individual binding his wound and the injured young man kind of look at each other and goes, what do you want? Did you if steal I'm... that thing that you got uh, your finger chopped off for? <laughs> Who do you work for? Myself. Is, I'm an entrepreneur. Is, yeah, which is... <clears throat> Okay. Well, I've, I've never been to an entrepreneur, but okay. Um, <laughs> I, I took I took the heat. I did what I needed to do. Hi. Right, so, who are you protecting? Everybody, perception check. It's his brother. I'm calling it. Dang it. Eighteen. <laughs> Twenty-one. Nine. No, uh, yeah, it, one. Uh, Naomi goes over her hands covered in the blood of her slain enemies and tries to wash it off Dalek uh, I don't know if if I should be talking to these guys Noan and Quincy uh, Nevels is kind of doing this as Autumn correctly predicted it appears as though uh, the culprit is Nevels well, uh, if I might be of assistance, I am a cleric of some renown. I may be able to aid you with your wounds in your hand there. Uh, the two gentlemen, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, it's an older lady. Uh, she's the carpenter's wife. Uh, and I'm not going to make that joke. Uh, the carpenter's wife and Tibbet, uh, Pinky, uh, look at each other skeptically. Go ahead and persuade me, Quincy. Oh, I'm good at that. But you aren't uh, going to do some devil magic on me. No, of course not. Uh, no, that's my job. 
Right. <laughs> you want to expound on that one, no on form? <laughs> <laughs> Guy with a smoking hole. There's a hole out there. <laughs> uh, Quincy. Uh, the whole guard out there. I, I am Tibbet. Uh, I it's would be greatly appreciative if you could heal me. I will go over. I will cast Cure Wounds on his hand. Okay. Uh, because you still don't have his finger, that was taken uh, by the guard as a trophy, uh, you will staunch the healing or staunch the blood flow. You will promote healing, uh, but he's still going to be Nine Fingers Tibbet. Eh, can't do that very well. Uh, but he appreciates it. The shallowness in his eyes uh, are repaired. Uh, he seems to be feeling much better. Uh, that is your spell, though, uh, or one of your spells. Indeed. Uh, wh where are you from? Where is this entrepreneur? <laughs> it's a boat. It's a boat. Ah, we left it out. I am familiar. Gate. Okay. Yeah, the that land would, boat. That, that would explain the land boat. Uh, <laughs> Uh, nice, says, John. Nice way to work in that backstory. You, know, you gotta, you gotta seam it all together. Uh, <laughs> Tibbet looks at you, whispers something to the woman. She says, uh, "Tibbet looks at three Quincy. Thank you. I certainly appreciate the healing. I think you're someone I can trust." <laughs> Are your associates trustworthy as well? Of course. I would not doubt them for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Especially the one that lit you up. Uh, <laughs> Tibbet thinks for a moment. I will acquiesce to your assessment of them. Uh, do you know what is going on here in hate? We do not. We were hoping to gain some information from you. We know the guards are kind of jerks. Yes. They, they, they were jerks. They, I, they were. Well, the uh, Sir Ashbury's troops especially are some of our Haitians uh, not so much. Uh, a few weeks ago, uh, Lord Ashbury arrived uh, with a small retinue of friends seeking uh, accommodations for the night. Uh, we are a trusting group of people and we allowed them in. Uh, our overlord, Lord Hate, uh, allowed them to sup with him uh, at his table. Unfortunately for all of us, uh, Sir Ashbury was an evil man and attempted to usurp power uh, against Lord Hate. We believe he's thrown uh, our leader in the dungeon of the tower and uh, now runs the town. Well, right. we have judged this all wrong, haven't we? I hate it when that happens. Actually, okay. I'll take insight from everybody. Oh, yeah. Wait, which one's uh, Ashberries? The gray ones or the blue the ones? Gray one's the chopper. He's the chopper. Get to the chopper. That's who Get he to is. the chopper. Or the five. <laughs> wow. Are you using an actual D20 or something less? I, <laughs> She's using a D6, yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, I've been using D12s this whole time. Uh, no, I... Five, no one? Four. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, I Naomi? get a minus one. Nice. Naomi? 14. Oh, very nice. Quincy? I got a natural 20 giving me a 24. You believe wow. this guy without a shadow of a doubt. This guy is honorable. Uh, Dalek and Noan. Uh, this guy's full of crap. And uh, Naomi, mm, you're still trying to wash the blood of thine enemies off your hands. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the lineup on that. You may discuss this issue uh, in front of Tibbet or ask him if you can huddle up and discuss it privately. What if we usurp the usurper? What do you ever think about that? Of course. I mean, Boy, I mean, it certainly is an option, but can we trust this man? He did get his finger cut off. I trust him implicitly. The light of Sune is shining upon his words this night. I don't know. Who cares it's if it's right or not? I mean, I'm just saying no take over. Well. But certainly, I say... It's certainly something to consider when we go out to dinner. 
<laughs> with the man. True. See if get we hear any first. screams coming from the dungeon. Always get the meal first. Yeah. Now, exactly. are you guys talking privately? Or I don't think we specified that. You know, yeah. I don't think we specified. So I think by default, probably not. We didn't. <laughs> uh, standing next to Dalek is Nevels. Oh, do we have a mascot now? Awesome. You got it. You've got a, you've got a, a good follower. <laughs> Hey, and I, and I sort of lean over to Nebels and I go, I, uh, oh, hey, Nebels, you, uh, you familiar with the, the tower that Sir Ashbury's in? Yeah, it's over there. Hey, do you know a back way to get in the dungeon? Nail it. <laughs> you, know, know. Any, you know the inside of it. The back I've never way to get been in the dungeon, inside perhaps. It. I just collect turtles from around the moat. I like turtles. That's right. That's where I was going with that one. <laughs> I cook that kid any chance I get. I love it. I like turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, Nevels can't assist you. Uh, Tibbet overhears this and points out, I was a guard for oh, yeah. Lord Hate. If you can sneak me in, I can go into the dungeon while you guys eat. Free Lord Hate. And the townspeople will join us in uh, overthrowing the usurpers. Let's I do like it. your plan. Yes, I indeed. I, you know, I've always wanted to be a hero of two towns. <laughs> and now is your chance. <laughs> now it's the chance. I say we go for it. The heroes Come of on, hate, boys. Let's take them down. I like that. Heroes of hate. I love it. Okay, how do you want me to? Do you want me to follow, or do you want me to follow at a distance? Why don't we disguise you? I am, I'm good at disguising you. I, I can disguise we, we, we you. We could disguise you. Naomi, what do you think? You're the rogue. You know all about sneaking. Just oh, now, now you're going to be nice to her after hitting her. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a love-hate relationship. Oh, yeah. See? Meshing, meshing the storyline right there. <laughs> we can use a disguise. Sneak in. Maybe a sneak attack. <laughs> mm. a rogue, okay. you know, sneak attack. Sure. <laughs> yeah. That works. Uh, Nebels asks what he is going to be disguised at. He always wanted to be a turtle. Well, go swim in the that's moat. A, that's a little hard. <laughs> Distraction. Distraction. Oh, Distraction. Drown. Yeah, drown him. Very nice. <laughs> it's, pour, it's pouring rain. The moat's filling with water. Yeah, S send the kid that got kicked in the head by a horse into. Okay, go ahead. Hey, get your turtle we'll army distract. together. Get your turtle army together. So that way, when we send out the flare, the turtles will come on in and save us all. <laughs> flare. Wow. I can do that. <laughs> I, uh, he walks across the room, grabs his shovel, and goes out the front door. Um, what if we disguised him as... Uh, a gray cloak. Uh, yeah, yeah, but they're gonna know. It's, I mean, they probably know each other, right? We've got a couple of cloaks out in the rain that would be perfect. We, true, we got the we got this get up. What else could we uh... give him a glove so they can't see the missing finger? Hi, <laughs> oh. you give, give him a key ring that he has to hold. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Give him a James Doohan got away with it for years on Star Trek, so it'll be fine. True. <laughs> True. Well, so how do you want to disguise him? Do you want to go out and get some of uh, the guard apparel? I think yeah, that's the best, best plan for now. Yeah. Sure. Uh, he's going to finish getting ready inside. Uh, you guys go outside. Nebels is talking to no one's friend. No one's friend. The one, that was the one that was staring the right through him. Oh, God. The guy from Breaking Bad. Uh, <laughs> I love that guy. Uh, so he looks at you guys. Uh, okay, there he is. Uh, he is apparently questioning Nebels because Nebels is digging a hole <laughs> because he's very straightforward about this and you guys well not you guys Naomi told him to go dig a hole to bury him uh, 
Sergeant uh, Gunny is not having any of that, sees you for quick, whips out the blades. Everybody roll initiative. <laughs> Dalek walks out and he goes, Oi, what happened to these guards? <laughs> Holy shit, the guards are dead. <laughs> oh, God, we're under attack. We're under attack. Come save us, please. I got a six. <laughs> I got a seven. Fifteen. Four. God, oh, that's awesome. Thank 15. goodness we did the, we rolled so well with those first <laughs> guards. Uh, Dalek, uh, you and he tied. I will allow you to go first. Oh. What do you want to do or say to uh, bald Sergeant Gunny? Let's see. I don't think I'm going to start off with the, uh, Holy shit, the, the guns, guns are dead. this time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dalek. Yeah, Dalek. You know what? Dalek walks out and he goes, "Hi, what? Uh, what happened to these guards?" Uh, See how this goes. D twelve <laughs> against me. All right. <laughs> Four. I rolled a three. Uh, <laughs> this causes him to pause, and he says, "The kid says you guys did it." Uh, that leads us to uh, a seven, Naomi. <laughs> give me it, Naomi, Noan, Quincy, give me insight checks uh, to see what Sergeant Gunny thought of Dalek's uh, approach. Quincy got an 18. Seven. Wow. Uh, okay, Naomi. Uh, Sergeant Gunny's a tough read. What do you want to do? Um. Oh my God! What's going on? <laughs> that, that's fair. Uh, next up is six. No one. Tough read on this guy. Uh, he sees you and doesn't much care for you for some unknown reason. What do you want to do? I walk up to him and go, "Hey, you got a problem with me, man?" <laughs> Good approach. <laughs> uh, Way to Quincy. keep it cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Way to lay low. Yeah. <laughs> Quincy, uh, as no one goes ahead and challenges him for dominance of the pack, uh, you already noticed that he's doing this on the hilt of his swords. He's going to fight. So at the end of the round, what do you want to do? Well, I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt. <laughs> I'm going to be offensive about this. be a misguided bolt. <laughs> Maybe. It's no so one I in the back and of the head. With... <laughs> oh! <laughs> I gesture and gesticulate with my hands, pulling out that small silvered mirror again. And once I hold it up, streaks of energy fly out of it. I need to make a ranged spell attack against Mr. Baldy Badass. <laughs> with a 17. Ooh, very nice. Ooh, one in uh, there. No one. All the hair on your ears just sizzles away as electricity <laughs> comes shooting out and around you and strikes uh, Bald Sergeant Gunny right in the face. How much damage, Quincy? Oh, beautiful. It's going to be... <laughs> Ooh, almost max. It's going to be... Oh, actually, no. I didn't roll enough dice. Excuse me. Always roll more. I already rolled one D eight and not four D eight. So let me re-roll this. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Uh, uh 14, 18, 24. Wow. Nice Points of damage. Yeah. Damage? Uh, and awesome. any attack roll made against him. Yeah. Any attack roll made against him has advantage until the end of my next turn. Woo! Fair enough. Top of the order, uh Dalen. Uh, I will allow you to choose what you're going to do. It's fairly clear that uh, Sergeant Gunny is going to have a problem with what just happened. You will be able to attack at advantage against him because he's lit up like a Christmas tree. Yeah. Wonderful. I love it. I am going... I'm going to throw my hand axe at him. Go on, here's where you die. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to think of something pithy to say. Ah, I rolled a five plus 
four, nine. You say, let me ask you a question. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know yeah. where my axe was? <laughs> 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 uh, oh, man, I'm never, oh, I'm never going to get that back in this rain. <laughs> he has no sense of humor and focuses his internal rage on Dalek for some apparent reason. Because <laughs> the dice oh, give him the <laughs> the way. Uh, and the second strike... Is going after two no on because screw it, no on's right in front of him. Uh, Dalek on you. The man reaches out his elongated arm and attempts to slice off your nose with the seven. Uh, no, I don't have it. Just misses. To get there. Uh, no on, he cracks the hilt of his sword towards your face. With a six, uh, so blinded by the light as he is, he misses both of you, uh, leading to Quince, or no, I'm sorry, Naomi, who also has advantage on attacks. <gasps> I think she's here. Yeah, she's here. Naomi, you're up. Oh, okay, sorry. Everything uh, froze for a second. Yep. Yeah, I've had that a couple times tonight myself. So. Okay, uh, we, um... we just take screenshots and turn you into memes later. Oh, good. <laughs> Very inappropriate good, good. names. It, it's not should, something we're should. proud of. Yeah. So Naomi, you still have advantage because he's lit up like a Christmas tree. Awesome. I'm going to attempt to shoot with my short bow. Sure. Here comes Noan. <laughs> uh, 18 to hit. 18 goes right over Noan's shoulder and strikes true. And he's not in combat with anybody particularly. Uh, he is in combat with he's, no one and yeah, Dalek. Really. He just so has sneak attack? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll give you a sneak attack because he, he did not sneak focus attack. his rage on you. That is eight points of damage. <laughs> yeah. Stuck in his nice. shoulder, he howls in pain. No one, he tried to punch you in the face. What do you want to do? Okay. Punch me uh, in the face? No, he no. tried to punch no one in the face. Oh, sorry. I'll get to you next. <laughs> you wait your turn. <laughs> I think I'm just going to use dissonant whispers on him. I'll encant, uh, you know, and basically say, they're going to get you, man. They're going to get you. And and all these whispers start and go in his head. And he needs to make a DC 13 uh, wisdom save. 15. Okay, then nothing happens. Uh, your voices don't uh, talk over the voices he already has in his head. Oh, okay, <laughs> got it. Uh, Quincy, you see the shimmering start to fail, but uh, it's still your turn, so you'll still have advantage on it. Oh, I'm sorry, he takes half, even if he saves. Alrighty, I... You can go ahead because he won't kill me. Okay. I'm going to <laughs> redraw my mace and I'm going to close the distance between myself and Mr. Baldy and I'm going to go ahead and attack him. Uh, we, prefer, the light uh, down the we prefer Mr. Shiny Head. <laughs> Mr. Shiny Dome. All right. That's right. Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean. Uh, that attack roll is going to be another 18. That's, a, that's not a good hit. Boy, you guys are carving him up way faster than I thought you would. <laughs> Uh, that's only three points of damage, though. <laughs> <laughs> only. So close. One hit point left. Top of the order. The <laughs> shimmer fades. Dalek, I'll let you go first. However, you and I did tie, so I will still get my strikes. Ah. All righty. I'm going to pull out my battle axe and go, you're not looking so good. It's like twice the size of me. I love it. Does Naomi kind of trigger... <laughs> <laughs> right. She flinches. Uh, I rolled a 16. Uh, 16 is going to get him. How much Woo-hoo! damage did you do, even though you only need Let's one hit point? Find out. See? Seven. Seven points of damage. As uh, Mr. Shiny Head uh, swings his blades, Dalek's swing is true and connects, slicing right through him. However, the blades are already in motion for three. Quincy, 
and one Naomi. Uh, the blades will connect, maybe, uh, but he is going to die. Quincy, your first five. Not going to get you. Naomi, 14 plus 317. That's going to hit. Good news is it's his offhand. <laughs> yeah, but I shoot uh, with this hand. <laughs> real nice. Really good news. It's a one plus two, three hit points of damage. Uh, awesome. As you feel the sting of his blade as he keels over the battle axe, opening up his neck, spurting blood all over no one because he's still standing close. Uh, so let's see who feels the tug. Uh, Dalek. There's a tug on your armor. I, uh, I, I turn around. Uh, it's uh, Nevels, and he's just covered in mud. And he says, is that going to mean I... Did you want another hole? For we that? need another hole. Or, yeah, yeah, we're going to... Oh, yeah, young man, we're going to need another hole. <laughs> Poor a whole Nevels. other one. <laughs> a whole lot of holes, probably, by the time we get done with this town. <laughs> How the, how's that turtle line coming <laughs> I'm, I'm still digging holes, sir. <laughs> the turtle army's going to be delayed. Uh, Tibbet walks oh, out. He, he's a little bit cleaned up, checks the weather, uh, notices streaks of lightning. Uh, I'm ready for my uh, disguise. Why, why, why is my brother digging holes? <laughs> Bodies. Yeah, already, we, I feel like we already discussed this boy. Here, put this cloak on, and I grab a cloak. Is it the Gray Wolf or the H? The Grays. The Gray. Yeah, we'll the gray. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, as you do, you notice that there is an A on the cloak pin. Uh, it is copper. There is no H on the Gray Wolf's cloaks. Uh, with the streaks of lightning going on, who had the scale mail, Quincy? Yep. Yeah, you feel some apprehension in the air. Give me a D20 straight up roll. You really don't want to roll a one this time. I'm sorry, what am I rolling? I cut a straight up D20. A D20. 17. Lightning's falling, but not anywhere near you, so you feel good. You feel powerful <laughs> on this one. Uh, you guys trudge off in the mud. Uh, the figure eight, where it intersects, uh, has another gatehouse. As you approach, uh, nobody there. Look in there for oh, like a switch or something over the gate. Uh, gate's open, actually. Yeah, give me oh. a, a lever. Yeah, it, oh, it's open. It's, it's not even through. secure. Yeah. I walk uh, through. You walk through. Uh, on the far side is... Uh, several planks uh, and using the term plank is being generous. It's more like a half of tree trunk, uh, but it is a wooden bridge. Looks a little bit slick. The moat around there where the turtle army is probably at uh, is filling rapidly with water because the deluge that is going on in order to get to the tower, thou art going to have to cross this wet wooden bridge. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Dexterity check, rogue. <laughs> check, not save. That is a 16. She, Naomi slides across the bridge with ease. Ta <laughs> Who's next? I, I'll go next. Ooh. 16 plus 2, 18. Moves across easily. The short people got no reason to fear this bridge. No and one can do it like us, am I right? And I sure. Uh, I'm one. I don't uh, like puns, you guys. puns make you roll at disadvantage. <laughs> oh no! Nice. Uh, oh, I got a natural twenty. What are we gonna do? Right. <laughs> um. Okay, I got a fourteen. Uh, no one uh, he gets across. <laughs> at least Quincy. And I will go last. Are you sure there's not a cloak we can put down so I don't have to stand in that stuff? Oh, sure. I'm... Do I look like Sir Walter Raleigh? <laughs> <laughs> I get a 16. Oh, yeah. Well, so, all, four yeah 16. Of you, all four of you cross. 
And here's Splash. Uh, no. Didn't quite make it. Our, uh, I fell in. He seems to be floundering in the pit of water. Uh, the cloak is now floating around because there's a slight current. Uh, he's grasping at the muddy uh, confines. Anybody want to give him a hand or throw him a rope? Uh, I, already, I, did I, you I already use forward. your rope? <laughs> you yeah, lunge I lunge forward? forward and try to grab his hand. It's the shortest you, one. You lunge forward. Uh, give me an acrobatics check, please. Oh, Otherwise, you're going right. to look like a uh, seal going down the slide. <laughs> uh, let's see. I got a 14 plus 4. 18. You actually do grab a hold of his hand. And as the human starts to yank uh, everybody else, Naomi, Noan, and Quincy, you can see that Dalek doesn't have a firm grip on anything but Tibbet's hand. Do you want to help him out? <laughs> Don't worry, Excellent. boy. I'm I'll get to jump you. <laughs> grab, grab, grab Dalek's feet. <laughs> okay. ah. He's got two feet. Who wants to grab one? Who wants to grab the other? I'll help as well. Yeah. No one. Quincy. Straight up. D twenty. Ooh, nineteen. And be careful with the boots. They eight. were a, white, a gift from me. White the misses. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, No one? I got an eight. Uh, no one pulls your boot off. He's being very careful with it, but fortunately, no. Quincy has a good grip on your ankle and using the power of his deity, pulls you both forward. The gray cloak disguise, however, gone. Uh, the door to the tower is right there. Uh, what is plan B? Oh, we didn't think that far, did we? Uh, well, we could just uh, have them come up and like hide next to the building, and then one of us will sneak away at dinner time, and then go open the door and get them in. Oh, yeah, I think that's. I think that'd be a good one. Keep them on the outside, and wait for the right opportunity. That's a good idea. Who wants to knock and or enter the door? I'll, I'll go ahead. Go for it. Uh, you guys all plow ahead. <laughs> uh, you open the door, uh, and there is a guard standing there wearing an H. Uh, she looks at you and says, I thought you weren't coming. Well, we never it give up a nice, free meal. Not... <laughs> well, he's in there waiting for you. I think he started without you. Okay. Thank Are you. we late? Apparently so. Well, you've killed five people. <laughs> you had, said that you, we had plenty of time after the first two. Well, you had the village idiot digging holes. You came up with a plan. <laughs> you pulled Tibbet out of the drink, and <laughs> now you've got to get your damn boot on, and it's pouring rain, and Quincy's scared to death he's going to get hit by lightning. Uh, <laughs> as you get in there, you see uh, Lord Ashbury, or I'm sorry, Sir Ashbury, uh, surprised that you're here. Uh, welcome, my friends. I thought you had stood me up. Uh, you look at the table and there are place sittings for you, just uh, as he had hoped. Uh, there's a large pheasant in the middle uh, and he begins to pour wine into your goblets. They are copper goblets, so they aren't great, but it's, it's better than the cheap crockery that peasants use. Uh, come, come, please join me at my table. Tell me of your damp adventures. <laughs> this this isn't holy there. wine, is it? It is not holy wine. Oh, thank goodness. The only holy <laughs> wine is the hole in the cask that it came from. It's a uh, boxed wine, <laughs> not, not bottled wine. Uh, but no, not holy wine, so you can drink accordingly. And you already washed the blood of thine enemies off your hands, so you're safe there. Uh, he sits <laughs> down and he asks you, what? No. please, please, new friends, tell me the tale of woe that you have uh, defeated. You all look like hardy stock. I'm curious. Tell me a story. Tell well, me a I was joke. orphaned <laughs> before I could remember, and then I grew up on the streets, learning to feed myself. And then I met these three, and that is that. <clears throat> We got a boat. Yeah, we met on a boat. A boat, you say? A land boat. It's really a phenomenal oh, adventure. Entrepreneur. 
a the lady, entrepreneur. I, I've never been to the entrepreneur. <laughs> is oh, that over the hills? <laughs> far, far over the hills. Where is this boat now? <laughs> I would, I would be curious as to see it. Well, it's about uh, what you say, four or five days ride from here now. That sounds about right. Yes, that sounds about right. On top of the mountain. <laughs> top of the mountain. Yeah, and I'm going did for pheasant, and I'm grabbing food. So no I, I hear that you uh, you just showed up here not too long ago, huh? Wow, oh, this pheasant's amazing. Pleasant uh, pheasant. Uh, everybody, roll a, a con check to see how you like the grub. Oh. Uh, nat twenty, baby. Nat twenty. Nat Six. one. Nat one. <laughs> no. Got a nine plus yeah. two, 11. Yeah, it's good. Six. 15. Not so much. 15, it's great, Naomi. You love it. So those. yummy. Quincy? Yeah, five plus two, so a seven. Yeah, you've had better. You and Dewan, uh, not big fans. Uh, Dalek still scarfing it down because gnomes have the appetite of a buzzard. Uh, <laughs> Naomi really likes it, so, you know, she's got pheasant all over her face, hanging off. Uh, Never had pheasant before. It's delicious. <laughs> well, we, we kill it ourselves here. Uh, I shot it with me bow. Oh, oh nice. An archer. Uh, everybody roll insight. That's why. Oh, my gosh. Uh, 13. I got a zero. Ten. <laughs> zero. Fourteen. Uh, this guy's really kind of pleasant. I mean, he's feeding you, he's giving you drinks, he's interested in your story, he seems captivated. This guy's we okay. would love to hear us. We would love to hear a story from you. Ah, how yes, long, tell us a story. How long oh. specifically have you been in charge here? Is it a, perhaps a line of succession that you followed? Perhaps your oh. father, grandfather were in charge before? No, my father is Count Wolfenstein. I am his third son. Uh, he gave me this backwater hovel after the previous uh, lord was not collecting taxes uh, correctly. And uh, I'm a bit of a, a stickler, as you know. Uh, you know, I, I like to adhere to the rule of law. And uh, unfortunately, I've been here about two weeks. Uh, took over because of... Uh, We'll say the taxation issue. Uh, these people, we don't want to work them to death, but uh, as, as many of you know, uh, it takes a lot of coin to run a kingdom. Uh, and, and my father, the count, entrusted me with uh, this uh, small but backwater area. Everybody insight check. Twelve. Ten. Seven. Thirteen. Okay. Sounds reasonable. That sounds reasonable. Now, uh, was <laughs> they uh, not paying the taxes beforehand, or now you're gouging them, or you're just taking that's what's, what's no. known? No, 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 no. These people are simple folk. They need their money, but uh, yeah. so do we. We have a border dispute uh, on the far side of the kingdom that uh, unfortunately men are not cheap uh, or women. I, we do not dispute. Uh, and you know what? Uh, my father might be able to use four hardy adventurers like yourself to go ahead and uh, handle the problem over there. If you're up for it, you and your land cruiser, the, uh, what would you guys call it? Entrepreneur. The entrepreneur. Uh, that sounds fearsome. Maybe you could be of assistance to him. So out of character, now you have to figure out, and your dice aren't helping, who's telling the truth? <laughs> they both could be. Yeah. So what do you guys want to do? Dinner is eh to okay. Uh, Tibbet's still outside freezing to death in the rain uh, without a cloak and maybe even hit by lightning. Okay, that sounded like his fault. <laughs> no, so, uh, what do you want to do? What happened to the other guy? I ask him, I ask him, I go, you know, what, uh, what happened to the person who was uh, in charge before? Oh, uh, Lord Hate. Uh, he's commanding an army on the front. Hmm. Can I roll yeah, or with? You can roll in sight for that if you'd like. 
15 plus one, 16. Anybody else rolling? Sure. <laughs> Four. <laughs> yeah, I got a two. Uh, uh, wow. Quincy? Uh, 19. Hey. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> Uh, we are at war with the Iroquois. They're a, a, a different nation altogether. Uh, troublemakers, honestly. Uh, Dalek and Quincy. Uh, not sounded as believable. Naomi and Noan. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Seems legit. <laughs> Sounds legit. That's where I'm from. I get it. Mm, Damn know. Iroquois! <laughs> ah, yeah, the Iroquois—they're all they're, they're all. so irritating. Am I right? Am uh, I, right? I was going to say a koi group. Now I will take Arcana checks from all of you. <laughs> oh, I'm not good at that. I'm good at that. Sixteen. I got a sixteen. Oh. Thirty sixteen. Nineteen. And what was yours, Dalek? Twelve. 12? Uh, Dalek? Uh, you, yeah, there's something wrong with the story, but okay, yeah, Iroquois sound like jerks. Uh, no on <laughs> Naomi and Quincy. Hey, you've never heard of these people before, and you're headed to Cathaway, and last time you knew, Cathaway is a coastal city, and it's only a day or two away. Uh, his story is starting to make less sense. I'm going to roll to see if Tibbet's been hit by lightning yet. Oh, seven. Whoo! <laughs> that was close. Uh, there you go. There's your uh, answer as it stands. Oh, my friends, that meal was delicious. Uh, however, I have some urgent empire business that I must take care of. Uh, have they made arrangements for you in the barn? I know it's not uh, what you're used to, but perhaps uh, it will suit you for the night. Oh, we're used to barns. That's exactly what we're used to. Well, I, 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 I noticed a smell. I just wasn't sure. I didn't want to be yeah. rude. <laughs> Smells you like some you enemies. Enemies. <laughs> Before we take our leave, if you do not mind, I wish to use your, um, and I look around, facilities. <laughs> oh, I was going to pull the same trick. The loo. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, if you go outside to the right, there's a sapling. I assume that is uh, that, or did you uh, need to uh, be That will suffice. Oh, okay. That will suffice. Uh, go outside. Uh, Darby, the guard, uh, she can lead you there if you'd like. Darby. Very well. Um, does anyone else need to go? Yes, let's all go together. Hi, I guess. No. That won't look weird at all. <laughs> oh, listen, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is Quincy going or is everybody going? Maybe just the two of us. We could go half right. and half. Split the party. Always goes well. Oh, yeah. Always. Yes. Uh, Quincy and Dalek, uh, you head out the same way you came in. Uh, there is young Darby, a, a female guard. Um, what are you doing? Is dinner over? Not quite. And I give her a ra ra uh, rakish smile and I say, are you perhaps interested in getting your town back this evening? <laughs> just gonna lay it out there uh, hey she's got the 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 h on her right yes a charisma check to see how rakish your smile is and then b <laughs> a persuasion check to see if she's not one of the other usurpers who have fallen in line charisma check of 19 plus 3 22. She is smitten by your overall charm and debonair your <laughs> suave approach lingers in the air how about your persuasion check four <laughs> <laughs> that is a 18 finally starting to roll good tonight <laughs> uh, she got a nat one so she is in your pocket mm -hmm. i would like to take my town back well we have a plan, and I look in the direction where our friend Tibbet is, 
If you could perhaps <laughs> aid him, we would buy you a little bit of time. And we will make sure that we can deal with Lord Ashbury if we need to. Very More good. like Lord Asbury, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, no one, Naomi. Uh, those two always go out to uh, use the loop. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say every time, but it happens. Every Quite frequently. Uh, let me ask you, have you two been in many combat situations? Never. I've never um, even seen anybody die. <laughs> It is an ugly times. thing. Yes, it is an ugly thing, as your associate will say. Uh, have you have you met my sergeant? Uh, the bald guy? Yes. Oh, he he was seen, charming. He has seen many people die, and two of them were supposed to be you. He whips out his battle axe, spins it around, and we're rolling for initiative. Uh-oh. Split the party. <laughs> oh, man. oh, no. Who could have foreseen? Sometimes tropes are there for a reason. <laughs> mm-hmm. I got a dirty 20. Ten. Don't yes. worry, we're coming back with reinforcements. Kids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to storm this castle tonight. Turtles. Uh, t- <laughs> Turtles the, turtle, yeah. the turtle army will have its revenge. <laughs> uh, the dirty 20 goes first. Uh, while he's doing his cool uh, baton tricks, uh, you jump at the chance to try and attack. Or you can... Uh, Show them up by spinning your own pig sticker that you've got. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to go for it with the rapier. Sure. No sneak attack. He knows both of you are there. That is a 22 to hit. Easily hits uh, Sir Ashbury. That is a nine points of damage. Not so much. <laughs> no one. Good news. Uh, Sir Showoff didn't do well on his initiative. You get to go next. Okay. <clears throat> no one goes. Perhaps you're familiar with the eldritch powers of sorcery. <laughs> blast. <at him. laughs> uh, eldritch blast uh, for armor class 16. Uh, no. No. Oh. Uh-oh. Did I miss? Uh-oh. Yeah, he, he's a bit of a beefy individual. One might even say BBG. Uh, he goes, I am in fact. Are you familiar with the words divine smite? <laughs> Odd even. Even. He's going to divine smite your ass, uh, no one. <laughs> Uh, 12 plus four. Oh, 12 plus seven. My apologies. 19. <laughs> He's going to deal some damage with a crappy roll of a one. <laughs> but he's still going to hit you for five and divine smite. Uh, seven hit points of damage as his rolls come up short. Uh, Dalek or Quincy, one of you roll a d4 as you put your plan in motion. Quincy will. I was saying, <laughs> she, she do away. Let me do that. Four. It's going to take you four rounds to get there. Oh, no. <laughs> what say about that? It's all right. This it's going to take us four of- rounds to get back. This is the end of round one. So that's one. Naomi. Back to you. Uh, sure wish we had some friends here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're, man. They're moving in a twirly. I've got this. Going to do a little stabby stabby again. Stabby sure. stabby, twirly twirly. Uh, that is a 18 to hit. That actually hits him. We're going to come back and he's already going to be dead. Hey, that's what a bet. <laughs> <laughs> Seven points of damage. That's, that's nice. Uh, no one, you're up. Okay, I'm going to keep trying to blast him with the old Eldritch energies. Vincent, repeat that, baby. <laughs> this time I got a 20. That a is, dirty, yeah. dirty 20. Yeah. And uh, da, 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 D10 for 5 plus 3, 8. 
eight damage, and that is uh, force. Yeah, you're uh, you're you're chopping him down. Yeah, yeah, you're getting it done. <laughs> Odd even. Uh, no, there, little dome. <laughs> oh no! No, oh, no. Uh, fourteen plus seven is twenty-one. Uh, he, he is not divine smiting your ass though. Uh, but that's a seven plus four okay. is eleven. Wait, As what? He, Eleven damage. <laughs> eleven eleven oh, damage. I, I think you might be on the deck, are you not? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. So yeah, she's still alive. She's still you're still fine. kicking. Still kicking. Oh, Don't sure. forget you got that packet of something. This Probably is true. 17, but uh so uh Dalek and Quincy, as you vehemently discuss this plan with uh, Darby. Uh, uh, the ins, the outs, the moves, the shakes. We've got this. We've got that. We're going to have turtles here. There, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. You give an amazing recitation. Mm. Darby's just focused in. Tibbet's still outside. Let's see if he gets hit by lightning. This time. Uh, five. Get lower. He's knocking on the door. <laughs> he knows he's about to get fried. Round three, uh, Naomi, you're up. 16 to hit. 16 does not hit. Ah, dang it. Oh. No one. Okay. All right, so I guess uh, we. I really want to try to cast a spell. Let's see, we got, um, mm -hmm. I have, I'm going to, I'm going to try to cast Tasha's on him. Tasha's hideous laughter. Yes. Nice. This, That's it. Always a goodie. Uh, he needs to make a wisdom uh, DC 13. 15 on the roll plus one. 16. Uh, he, he is not, not amused. Not laughing. Not amused. <laughs> not amused. Goes, he looks at you and says, funny. Funny. <laughs> uh, dose. Uh, no one. Let's see if you find this funny. <laughs> and the battle axe comes up and over his head. Ho! Oh, splitting the pheasant and sending it in different directions with a three. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that is the end of round three. Uh, Darby says, do you, do, you, do you hear some noise? Hear some? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I knew we shouldn't have split the party. <laughs> He's beating on the door. Let him in. Let him in. <laughs> Darby, you're with me. <laughs> I get the door. No! You're oh, low. No. You no. open the door. Timmit falls in and a lightning bolt rolled a two. Hits right where he's standing. Damn it! What are you guys waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of round three. Uh, you guys now realize, oh shit, our friends are probably getting their ass beat in there. Uh, you guys will be able to run in and do something at the end. And then if he's still alive, uh, we'll roll your initiative. Naomi, uh, where in the shit are your friends? This guy is... <laughs> Kicking your ass. <laughs> You're up. It's okay, I got this. I got this. Oh, yeah, you got this. Do a one <laughs> and then <laughs> surrender. <laughs> you got it after you say you got this. Yep. 17 to hit. 17 going to get him this time. Woo! Yeah. There's a reason because it was 18, but now it's 17. Oh. Nine points of damage. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. Noan, you're up. Uh, Stabby Stabby's doing her job. All right. Uh, no one's out of his special spells. That was his one chance to do something. So he's going to just go back to regular Eldritch Blasting. Uh, he'll blast a couple of pheasants. I can kill pheasants too. <laughs> <laughs> how, how bad was your roll? It was a nat four, so... Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Maybe like a, Ooh. it would have been about a nine. D12 against me. All right. I rolled an eight. You know what? I'm going to attack at minus one because a piece of pheasant. 
got on his cheek. Uh, and I am going to attack odd Naomi. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Six plus seven, 13. Miss! Ah! The, the pheasant has obscured his vision. Uh, Quincy, Dalek, uh, Tibbet runs in, grabs a hold of Darby. Bring me the key. Uh, and they take off. Quincy and Dalek, do you want to go see if your friends are still alive? See what the dessert portion of the meal might be? Or just hang out in the entryway? And I don't know. I think I kind of want to like stare at this really, really nice painting. <laughs> You know, just I'm going to get that baked, get that baked Alaska, there. man. I'm going up there. Yeah. All, all right, right, all right. I'll follow. I'll go. I'll go. As you as you guys charge in, there's pheasant everywhere. The floor's a wee bit on the slick side. Uh, your courteous host uh, is swinging a battle axe like uh, it, it's abused him, and uh, <laughs> Naomi is. Really kind of hurting. Uh, no one, eh, not so much. <laughs> I'm, hurt, I'm, hurt, I'm hurting pretty bad. Okay, so they're, they're, they're both hurting pretty bad. Quincy and Dalek, you may go ahead and attack. After that, we'll roll for initiative to see where you fall. All right, cool. Um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna rush in and I'm gonna yell and I'm gonna go, hey, Asbury, your pheasant was dry. And I'm gonna run and use my uh, my battle axe and, and swing at him. If you roll a one, you will slip on a piece of pheasant and oh, go no. careening underneath the table, giving yourself bludgeoning damage. But go ahead. Gosh, do <laughs> I want to roll At least one? you won't kill Naomi or Noah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I lost it. Oh, I got a 19 plus Damn four, it. 23. That hits. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, eight plus two, ten. That hurts a lot, Quincy. Well, dare I step away for a moment again? Um, <laughs> I'm I'm going to take that small silvered mirror out again, and I'm going to wave it, and I call a poor call forth the power of Sune again, and I ask her to bless my allies this night and I'm going to cast bless on the three other party members so that they now have a D4 that they can add to any attack or saving throw as long as I concentrate on this spell. Good enough. And that's Quincy my last and spell. Quincy and Dalek, give me your initiative rolls. Ooh. Should it have? Nine. Fourteen. Nat 20, or Dirty 20, Naomi, you are up first. Go ahead. Uh, please note, as you look at him, he's pretty badly beat up, but he's doing this, and his hands are beginning to glow. Oh, Get him awesome. <laughs> so, he's just to clarify, blow. he's in combat now with Dalek, right? He is in combat with Dalek right now. Ooh, Sneak yeah. attack. Oh, yeah, nope, never mind. I got a three. <laughs> so that's a total of eight. She slips on a piece of dry pheasant, and <laughs> her attack goes sideways. No on, you know what this spell is, and he's going to be feeling a whole lot better if he gets it off. All right. Um, it's not Quincy's go, because he rolled a 14. I thought. Oh, my apologies. Yes, 14, and then you're the 10. Quincy... Uh, you probably, you might know what the spell is, but might not. All you know is something's about to happen. Oh, yes. Well, I am going to uh, draw my mace, and in the process of doing so, I'm going to cross through the room and stand next to Naomi, kind of semi-blocking her with my body, and I'm going to attack Swinging, Sir knocking her head off her shoulders. <laughs> That's right, exactly. <laughs> um, my attack roll is going to be a 16 just a bit outside as it passes oh, oh. by his nose. No one. You better get him. No one says, I wouldn't try that if I were you. <laughs> Blast away at him. Uh, <laughs> and unfortunately, I got an 11. Hey, don't you have... Um... You guys are both blessed still. Oh, Bless. sorry. So you yeah, have yeah. D4, D4. Hold up. It may oh, not matter. But... D4. <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, still. So 15. I'm sorry. 
11, yeah, 14. 14. Um, some misses. 14 misses as he dodges it. He's going to touch one of you. Oh, no. He's going to touch number four, Balik. Uh, you know that cool healing spell you've got, no one? This is about the exact opposite. 10, uh, 7, 17, Dalek? It's, uh, I don't think that hits me. I'm 18. 18. <sighs> Swings and misses without giving a whole lot of pain because he went with the cause, not cure. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Uh, also, uh, you and I tied. So, Dalek, your turn. All right. You and I got nines. All right, excellent. Uh, are his hands still glowing? Nope. Swing and a miss. All right, excellent. I'm going to still try to chop him off anyway. And uh, I uh, go, hey, you don't touch me without asking. And I uh, I swing my, my battle axe up and around, and I totally... Don't hit him. I rolled a five plus four, nine. Hey, Obi, your chance to be the heroine of the day. <laughs> Again. Or any other schedule four drug, I'm not sure. <laughs> 20. Mm. Mm. Yeah. How much damage do you do? I get sneak attack. Sneak attack. Uh, he was going after day, like you will get sneak attack. Oh, that didn't do much. Um, that's a total of seven. He had five hit points oh, left. Oh, oh. Down goes Lord Ashbury or Sir Ashbury, just as Tibbet and Lord Hate arrive. <gasps> you have successfully yes. defeated the usurper. Ooh. Only because the die said attack rather than heal, because he was about <laughs> to heal himself. Uh, oh. Lord Hate. Commands you to drop your weapons, not knowing who you are, but Tibbet stays his hand. The mm. beraggled leader of this conclave or citizenry uh, demands an immediate uh, explanation. Explanation now. We saved you. You're welcome. Your kingdom is yours again, sir. I think we should not have to be taxed like ever again. <laughs> sure, we can arm again this one. You, you're never going to pay taxes in my land, pal. <laughs> so, uh, just a minute over, but not too bad. You guys successfully survived. Naomi, how many hit points did you have left? Three. Uh, no one? I had seven. There you go. So I almost, well, I can't take full credit there. Uh, Dalek and Noan helped me out with That's all true. the damage caused by the party. <laughs> anytime, uh, anytime. I nearly killed Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a, just below half, so yeah. <laughs> hey, the good news is you guys survived and you are true heroes. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, and you know what? Just for flavor, uh, Nebels arrives with two turtles, one in each hand. Awesome. Yeah! Army. He is just covered in head to toe in mud, and he's wearing the gray wolf cloak uh, <laughs> that his older brother dropped Love in the it. ditch. Right? So, because he had to go get the turtles. Let's yeah. get them. <laughs> They're here. Uh, what'd you think, Dalek, now that you're drinking? Good <laughs> <laughs> uh, timing. Oh, gosh. This was super fun. I loved it. I love oh, yeah. the quick pace of everything. This is, this is awesome. Yeah, I will okay. absolutely come back. Is that a threat yeah. or a promise? <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely a threat. I'm sorry Very for good. you, frankly. Ah, that's okay. <laughs> I, I've been through worse. Kevin, what'd you think? Oh, what a great time. What a great time. I did have a couple spots where you guys did freeze up for a second. So mm -hmm. that was unfortunate, but I was in there. I was with you guys. It was a great time. So much good. fun. Uh, no one. What about you? You've been here three times now. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really fun. I enjoyed it again. I like, like she said, I like the, the pace. I uh, I think it's a really good speed, and you never get bored. Gotta keep it snappy, man. Got to keep it snappy. I got two hours to keep you guys riveted. Always keep your audience riveted. Uh, Colleen, what'd you think? I had a blast. It was great. Kevin, take notes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, uh, I was like, I, 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 I got to make my DM play. 
<laughs> well, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the one shot edition. Remember, if you want to see on this show or on the talk show every Tuesday night, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. You can have as much fun, or maybe I do a better job next time as these guys. Don't forget, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. Uh, if you want to shoot the shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, the link's down there. Don't forget, if you want custom dice, like dice I should have used, especially against Dalek, just to kill him, uh, at Pirate Dog Dice. And of course, if game stinks, they can smell like turtles uh, through oddfishgames.com. And don't forget their shine system so you can write this adventure gooder than I did. Uh, Naomi, shout out your podcast date and time for us again, please. Game Night Heroes. You can find us at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or website. Or you can find me on Instagram at Colleen Gaming. And all, all you guys all have name tags, so everybody's been forced to watch your contact point. <laughs> uh, Autumn, uh, do your pitch for us, please. All right, excellent. Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. Right there, we go. All right, that was it. That was it. <laughs> uh, no, I play uh, Capes and Caverns. It's like a D and D, but for superheroes. Every Monday on Twitch, eight thirty Pacific Standard Time. You can find Twitch at Silver Bullet. Silver uh, underscore Bulette. Sorry. <laughs> that, that's, that is important. It's Otherwise, important. No, it's it, important. Don't go to whitehouse.com. Same concept. <laughs> Just, you got to have the underscore in there. Uh, John, John and Kevin, uh, let's show the young ones what the dating game kiss and wave goodbye is. Thanks, <laughs> folks. Mwah. Mwah. We're out of here. Hi.